Hello, 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 Snowsong Wolf here again, uh, showing you a proof of concept for my Zelda dungeon setup. Uh, it's, there's actually uh, three levels to this just because I didn't have enough room. Uh, they've got some wiring on the bottom level here, and we also have some wiring on the top level. Now, of course, if I were making this into a real dungeon, I would have this all enclosed so you can get to it, but I needed to do a lot of resetting. So this is uh, a Zelda mouse slipping again. This is a Zelda room where you would have to defeat the mobs inside to get the door to open again, and the door automatically closes when you enter. So how we do that is we have an iron door here which can only be opened by redstone, and immediately inside is a pressure plate. And of course I would make this out of real stone to make it a little harder to see probably. But what happens when you walk on that pressure plate? The door closes and locks on you and there is no way to get the door open now. This glass block here is simulating a, mo a mob spawner, and what you would have to do to get the door open again is you would have to break the mob spawner and then get the torch that's below it, and that'll open the door again. And see, now it doesn't matter if I step on the plate or not, the door remains open. Now the way I did this is the pressure plate comes down at this circuit right here, which is lit for some reason. Oh, that's right, I have it latched. The pressure plate is on a latch circuit, which I forgot because I'm an idiot. And that's these couple of blocks right here. To reset that, you have to come over to the reset output, place a, place a redstone torch down, take that off, and that'll reset your latch. And then the latch goes up here. Uh, this one here, this is the uh, spot where the uh, torch is under the mobs. And I, I had to put that two spaces down to get the wiring to go without leaving a gap in the floor because you need to have this much space between a wire and a gap. Although I could probably put that up one block. You know what, let's try that. I'm just going to, uh, if it works, it's going to lock me inside. I, I'm already locked inside. Why am I locked in? Oh, that's right, it's an exclusive ore, which means we have one input on and one input off. So, let me just trigger this momentarily. That will allow me to get inside. And I can... Alright, let's put down a block and a torch. No, apparently that did not... Oh, no, that won't work, that's right. So in order for that to work, the torch does have to be two units down. Now you see the door is locked. Now the door is not locked. But anyway, what happens then? We have the exclusive OR gate up here. So this is the input here from our... Boy, I'm out of it today. This is the input from the torch below the mob spawner, which is set to zero. And this is the input from our pressure plate, which is latched, so it's still set to 1 from the last time I stepped on it. And if either of these outputs... If both of these outputs are on, the circuit is not... Uh, if only one of these outputs is on, the circuit is on for some reason. Did I put the torch back? I put the torch back, didn't I? No, because I had to invert this one. So the torch is... Ah, you see, that's the other part. I had to invert the torch in order to get that to work. So this is actually an inverted torch here. So uh, right now this is telling me that the mob spawner has been destroyed and that the pressure plate has been stepped on. That gives a zero output, but then we invert that because zero means I want the door open, which means the door has to have power. It's kind of early in the morning for me yet, even though it's 3.09 p.m., but uh, proof of concept, it does work. In normal gameplay, it would be open, you would step on that, the door would close, you'd have to fight all the mobs in here, uh, then you would have to break the torch, then the door would open again, and you could get out again. I'm, I'll work on doing some of the other puzzles, but I wanted to see if I could make this one work. I've seen a lot of Zelda levels, but none of them seem to have this functionality working, so there is my test.
And next time I upload, it'll either be another uh, Let's Play, or it will be a completed room for the dungeon. And eventually, I'm going to try and make uh, more or less an entire Zelda world that you can walk around in and solve puzzles and fight mobs. Until next time.